All right, but it's time to dethrone him again. We need people to play and dethrone Knighty from his from his high chair, his high horse, his soapbox. We need to knock him down, and it's not going to be one of us. So we're relying on one of you to do it. Seed's going to be in the description below. Click on it, play along, share your scores and your thoughts in the comments below or over in the GeoGus or subreddits. We'd like to see how you did. Anyways, everybody ready for round one? Indeed. Ready. Indeed. Three, two, one, go. I. <sighs> that was a. Sorry to be recording that intro uh, a minute late. Also, there's a plane here. I'm not sure why the plane sound is so loud in this room, because the airport is on the other side of the city. But oh well. Uh, that's, that's the problem. I'm I'm in Indiana at the moment, and both in GeoGuessr and in real life. <laughs> and um, thing about this house is that like noises just, you know the uh the dormitory is like built to like in, like the sixties to like be like anti riot or something. It's like a, a gray dingy block of, of of death and despair. So like. You know, there's there's sounds because there's college students and they're insane, but they are sounds the rather um, sort of you know loud variety and they're few. You know, you know what's making the sound, but here it's this the sound the the house. You know, there's just like a million tiny vibrations just like echo up through me and I can sense them and it's like ah because it's still all flimsy or something. Um, if I could see the signs, that might help. But, as it stands, uh, it is flat, and there is corn. Ergo, I will guess Indiana, I guess. Um, it, it doesn't look that flat. Like, there's a little tinted hill. Like, Indiana doesn't have any hills, obviously. Just say anything? This does not say anything. Okay. Uh, I will guess Indiana. It's so like the eastern, the western side. Um, no, no. We, we, well, this, it's so... Yeah. Flat for Iowa. Alright. That was yeah. flat for where it was. We, um, we have poor quality images, but we had some cornfields. And if you go down far enough, there was a, a car towing a, a boat. So, and I, I'm looking in on Kansas, and there's not, a, I guess there's that wildlife refuge, but you probably can't boat in a wildlife refuge. So I'm not sure what this guy was doing with a boat. <laughs> but anyways, the boat made me pick Iowa up near the Mississippi and Minnesota because there's a lot more water access up there. I got 4380. What'd you do, Al? I guess right on the border between Kansas and Nebraska because I found a road sign. I didn't really find much else. I kind of gave up looking because it was just middle of nowhere. I got 3577. Oh, I was looking at the wrong spot. This is in Iowa. I was looking yeah. at someone else's guess. All right, so this is right by a whole bunch of water. All right, never mind. And there's a wildlife. Anyways, Pasta, what'd you get? Um, yeah, I thought of Australia at first, but I saw a lot of signs on the right side of the road, so... Um, yeah, I guessed somewhere in Kansas on a road going from east to west. Uh, 3202 points. Uh, yours is the one I was looking at. Alright, talk this. Might be. On a road going from east to west, heroes are set, seeking glory in the greatest of confields. Yeah. Um, and Tokus is back me, to his former glory. There were, it was flat, and there was corn. And when something is flat, and has corn, Tolkis guesses Indiana. So I did that. I got 3,308. Not bad. Everybody ready for round yep. two? Yes. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Didn't say it was ready, Fixer. You're elitist. You care about Alzerath being ready more than you care about me. That's the wheels. Um. This is... Eh... Uh, Uh, I gotta let go down. It's going along. Moving on up. 
Um, this is not the uh, most um, ornate neighborhood ever. Hey, Dem. This does not help me. It's a maze. The, uh, the, the stuff is loading perfectly. That's good. Um, sort of. Oh, we're in America. I would not have guessed that. Um, I need to get to bed, like, earlier than not at all, I think, in the future. Oh, I, I did get to bed, but, like, uh, yeah, that cat, Kale, if so I know the city name, that does not help me, but this doesn't look like the largest place that has ever been. Oh look, a little uh, abandoned thing. Corner parcel. Zero. Casino. I might be able to find something here if I could, but I can't. So I will go with I think just like I don't know. I'll just go with Iowa. I think. Oh. All right, so. I guess I got a guess. Yeah. If you made your way out of the, the subdivision, you, you got to um, a street, uh, a main street, and there is a sign that says, Welcome to North Dakota. Uh. So that gets you a starting spot. And right after that sign is uh, a city, Pe uh, Pembina. And it's like, okay, that's even better. And then you go beyond that, and it says Highway 59. So, I mean, there's a, a perfect map. You zo I found Pembina up by the Canadian border, um, but it's actually the border of Minnesota. So I zoom in. I find out where we're at exactly. I got a perfect score, 5,000 points. And nice. I'm 11 meters away. How'd you do, Al? I did not find Pembina. But I saw the, the U.S. flag and the Canadian flag right next to each other. So I was like, okay, it's a border crossing. So I started looking around there. I saw Pembina on the signs, but I couldn't find it on the map. So I ended up guessing in, like, northern Minnesota, and I got 3804. Pasta? Uh, I didn't see the Canadian flag, but it had to be somewhere in the U.S. So I guess somewhere in Oklahoma, 1867 points. And Tarkis. I guessed uh, Iowa and got 2,762. All right. So, is, Victor's running away with this one. <laughs> is 5,000 yes, perfect? Is. Can you get 5,000 uh, higher than 5,000 on the newer? No. I don't think so. 5,000 is perfect. All right. See. All right. Round three. Everybody ready? Yep. yep. Ready. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. There's windmills. And tree stumps, and uh, what looks like a European car. Um, this could be Hawaii. Do they have European cars in Hawaii? I probably know this by now. Um, or it could be one of the many, uh, like Malaysian slash Philippines. I guess it is one of the male, many Malaysian slash Philippines. If I could read that. So that's, that looks like, uh, not Malaysian slash Philippines. Um, that looks like Japan slash Chinese. I think it looks like China. Yeah, that looks like China or something. Oh, there's signs. I must go. Behold the signs. Come to me, signs. Come to me. Come to Anki Torkus. Oh, ah, we, there's a, hi horses, hi horses, so where do I want to guess, um, I don't know, I mean, this is a Google thing, which makes me think that it probably rather isn't, um,
What does this mean? What does this mean? Is this Chinese or Japanese? I feel like this looks like Japanese to me. So I'm going to guess Japan. And along the coast, I guess. Like there. And, um... Fix is going to win this one, I guess. Oh, well. All right. Kind of oh, my gosh. I think that's a first we've had one Yeah. in that area. All right. Indeed. Well, it looked Korean to me um, with the mix of, of characters. But um, I guess uh, I don't know. I don't know what language they speak here. Probably Chinese. That's probably uh, Chinese. I think that is Chinese uh, yeah. from the symbols and everything. I think that's probably one of the like the Taiwanese protectorate little island things, maybe. Yeah, or one of the islands where Jap uh, Japan, China, and Korea are fighting upon. Well, Bye. well, no, these Senkaku slash Daiyu islands don't like people don't live there. Oh, but they are um, having some discussions about other islands as well. I so. suppose. So that was more in the, ah, uh, the, well. the South China Sea, though. I don't know. So I guess Jeju and got 2712. How'd you do, Al? I guess in Japan, I was looking around for the islands, and I was just kind of... I went for the wrong set of islands when I was looking for it. So I, my guess in Japan kind of stood, and I got 2568. Pasta? I guessed in Hong Kong because people were driving to the left side of the road and I found some English writing as well and uh, the distances were in kilometers. So yeah, I've got 2,340 points. Oh, nice. Um, focus. I did not guess Hong Kong because that does not strike me as a particularly developed area as Hong Kong is. Um, I thought that the characters looked Chinese. But the Google car, you know, doesn't do China. So I figured that if it was going to be anywhere, it would be either Taiwan or Japanese. And at the last moment, I guessed uh, Japan and got uh, 1723. Alrighty. Round four. Everybody ready? Yep. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I know the thing, Kaku, so I you islands are. Aren't I cultured? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh... The hotel village. Um, also, there's like cars, like in here. It's doing their car thing through the window. Uh, this doesn't look like. I mean, this looks like uh, Mexico at first glance. Yeah. I mean, duh. Thought this might look like. Um, Like, uh, something on our, the American side of the border, but with the Spanish population, but no, um, could be Brazil, I doubt it, though this does really strike me as Mexico, um, I'm sure there's something in the uniform of that guy that would give it away, um, just going along, I suppose, so, Cano, yeah, I feel like this is, um, Mexico. Uh, yeah, I don't got nothing there. Um, oh, what's, what's this thing? Arta to something, something. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, from east to west. Maybe if I just say that over and over again, then I will get um, enthusiasm. Oh well, uh, I guess we'll just guess northern sort of Mexico. So like there, maybe. Like there, yeah. Let's go there. And then we'll just go on and look at this sign. If it says anything, then we'll feel bad, but we didn't. Ah, that's All right, nice. well, I couldn't. I couldn't figure out if it was Spanish or or Portuguese, and it was convincingly looking like Mexico to me. Um, so I, I, my guess was in Mexico until eventually, near the end, I did find a sign that said um, some business had Brazil in its name. I, I, I couldn't read. I, I don't know what it said, but it had Brazil in its name. So I guess by Salvador and got 35, 40. How'd you do, Al? 83 points. 
Oh boy. Was that Mexico? Yes. Uh, pasta? <laughs> I finally figured out how to distinguish Portuguese from Spanish. Uh, Nighty pointed that out to me in a comment. Uh, you look for the C with the sharp thingy uh, under it. If you, I, I told it you got... that like a few months ago. Yeah, you as well, but I totally forgot it. But since Nighty told me that on my last video, I remembered it and I used it. So I guess somewhere in Brazil, I found a Brazilux sign as well. Uh, somewhere in the middle of it, uh, 27, 20 points. Yeah, you got the C, and it usually is followed by A O. Um, more, yeah, but um, Spanish don't ha uh, doesn't have the C. Right. Uh, Talkus. Thirty-three. Did you guess my score as well? Yes. All right. I guess we get one more round. Yes. yes. Yep. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. That's the thing, though. Like, I would be all you know. I wouldn't have a problem with one with the fact that I uh, am sleepy faced and dead to the world. And it's just like, it's always the case with like recording. Like, I would play on Strange Line so much more if I didn't have to record it. Because, you know, it's like if you have to record, then you have to like set up for a video and then like wait. And maybe you don't feel in the mood so you don't get anything done that day. But if you're just playing Minecraft, you just hop on, build for like 10 minutes, and just go do uh, play Hearthstone like we all secretly want to do in our life. So, yeah, that was an observation. I don't like to, uh, I don't know, it's sad though, because I do feel like my commentary suffers, and this is like my, my favorite series, slash best series, slash I, I do well in this series. Store skin. Oh, start. What is this? I guess this is Norway props. Um, played Geo guess a couple of days ago and it had Finland. Just an observation. Is that? Is there a flag there? Oh, okay, so that's just all the Scandinavian. <laughs> There's a Finland flag. Is this, is this the. That's a cool building, actually. That's really cool. I like that building. Pretty building. Um. I guess I'll just guess Norway then. Um, down here. Just hold on. Because. Oh. No, don't see any. This dwarf again. Well, this might be like really far. Uh, northern Finland. Uh, Jokmok. These things help me. I don't think they help me. Um, no. Nothing has helped. All right, well, the the highway, the, the painted lines kind of immediately screamed Sweden, and then you saw the, the name of that city. Is, what was it, Isdrail? Let's see. Uh, I found Britzel. And I found Vitzel. Yeah. So you go down the road a little bit, and, and I, I couldn't really find much of anything. You eventually get to a hotel, but it had... I had like all, all the all flags. This... <laughs> yes. So it didn't really help out much any. I did see um did you see that logging area? Uh I passed it all, I didn't reach it. Yeah, I well I didn't reach it either, but I figured if it's logging, I I'd, I'd say it's more likely to be in northern Sweden. So I guess in northern Sweden and I got forty nine uh fifty seven. Apparently um thirteen kilometers away. Nice. And I, it was just a panic drop, really. It wasn't really much of anything. Anyways, how'd you do, Al? 46.73. I guessed a little bit southeast of it. Pasta. I guessed between Östersund and Zunsvall. So uh, around in the middle of Sweden. Uh, 36.80. Nice. Talk us. I guessed Norway, because apparently I don't know whatever it is your painted guys mean. And I got 26.94. Painted lines. No painted guys. Uh, a... The street signs as well. Those yellow signs with the red uh, circle around it. That is Sweden, or I think Finland has it as well. But I'm not too sure about the latter. I know someone from Finland. Me too. Yeah. And I know some, uh, someone from Denmark as we well. We have so much in common, Pasta. 
Oh, we don't have that in common. I, I know more know people anyone. from Sweden uh, than I know from Finland. I, anyway. We might. Anyways. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's see what our final score is. I, I've actually competed with 90 here. So I got 20,589. How'd you do, Al? 14,705. Pasta? 13,809. And Talkus. You record this too early. 105 to 0. Oh, nice score, Talkus. Thank well you, Fixer. I love you too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hopefully Nighty won't be able to surpass that score, and uh, maybe I can dethrone him he for will. once. I don't know that that Taiwan one might be, or that one off Taiwan might be a little difficult, but we'll see. Anyways, um, if you guys played along with us, like I said, go to the uh, GeoGuessr subreddit, post your scores and your thoughts. We'd like to see how you did, and I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.